Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, happy to have you. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. Your support means a lot. Um, today I have my husband Chris joining me. We decided that we were gonna make a meal for two and to make it more fun, we were just gonna make it on a budget. So we decided on $20 at Whole Foods. The reason why we chose Whole Foods is because I think it's like the grocery store that is across the country. So anybody can go make this. Um, we wanna make it healthy. So all fresh ingredients, Whole Foods. And yeah, anything else? No, we're about to find out. Yeah, I guess we'll figure out what we're gonna <laughs> go make. We have no idea what we're gonna go make. So we're just gonna Excellent. go to the grocery store, figure out what we're gonna make. It'll probably have some sort of um, veggies, meat, I guess. And then, I don't know, we'll take it from there. Yeah, we'll see, we'll okay, see. Okay, let's go. But first, coffee. We're drinking some Colombian coffee because that is truly the only coffee that I will drink. So we had to make a stop for that because Chris truly cannot function without his coffee in the morning. I truly can. I mean, coffee is life. It, it is. It really, really is. <laughs> we made it to Whole Foods. Where the food is whole. And on the way here, we were trying to figure out what we were going to get, what we were going to make. And we decided that we were going to do some chicken with potatoes and some veggies. And we're trying to figure out if we need to buy everything because we do have stuff at home. So we're like, but is it cheating the system if we like don't buy everything i mean it's like simple ingredients like oil or like a seasoning or salt yeah i think and pepper. like i think like the salt and pepper and the seasoning that's fine because like most people have that at home but like i wanted to make some veggies with some coconut aminos but we have a whole new bottle of coconut aminos at home and chris is like well you need to buy the coconut aminos because not everybody has coconut amin aminos at home so we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do because <laughs> With coconut aminos plus chicken plus all these things we're not gonna stick to twenty dollars so let's try to make this realistic and try to stick to the budget so people can do this with twenty dollars twenty dollars is a lot of money but not when you want to eat healthy i think not when you want to eat healthy <laughs> not when you want to eat at whole foods I, that's the thing that i don't understand is like in america i feel like the healthy food is just so expensive whereas like in most countries or at least like for me growing up in colombia like healthy fresh food is just like i don't it's accessible so I don't know. We're going to see what we can find um, and make this healthy and fresh and good. Yeah, let's do this, guys. I think we were pleasantly surprised to save that much money. We were like counting everything, doing all the math, making sure that everything was going to be under $20 and it was pretty good. It was good. Um, yeah, so that worked out really nicely. We even used the weight scales. Oh yeah, we were like, we never weigh anything when we buy it, we just like grab it and, and purchase it. And we were actually like weighing everything, making sure that everything was going to be the right price. Um, and we also got lucky, which Chris brought up, that in Florida they don't tax many things in the grocery store. And so that helped us out that we were able to like save some money there because there was like no tax. But even so, I think that if other people were taxed, like it would still work out because I don't think that it would be like $3 for tax. So it should still be good. $18, so yeah, you should have enough Tax. Yeah, so now we gotta go make it and show you the recipe. Yes, we do. Here's what we ended up getting some potatoes. These are actually organic, so they were a little bit pricier than regular potatoes, but there was the first ones that we found. Um, so bell pepper, onion, baby carrots, mushrooms, chicken broth, chicken, garlic, and lemon. And then from home, we're using some Italian seasoning that we have, some Himalayan pink salt, pepper, and then avocado oil. And then we're gonna need a baking dish and two pans. Wow. Awkward. I'm using two garlic cloves for the chicken. Some lemon juice. I'm using an entire lemon because I really, really like lemon, but you can always just do half. Salt and pepper to taste. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so almost one tablespoon. So we're gonna do like about half, half a cup. Yeah, about half a cup. The oven is preheating to 400, um, but before then we're just gonna put it in a pan real quick just to like cook it a little bit and then it'll go in the pan um, in, this, in this one in the oven. Mm -hmm. 
while the chicken bakes we're gonna make the veggies and normally what i wanted to do was put together all the veggies in the pan with some coconut aminos and like hemp seeds i've made it like that and it tastes really really good but we were doing the math and if we did coconut aminos and hemp seeds that would have been way over twenty dollars so if you do happen to have that at home and you want to stick to the twenty dollars just add some coconut aminos and hemp seeds if not we're just going to go with some seasoning that we think people may have at home um like thyme oregano and then italian seasoning and salt and pepper but yeah. if you don't have the seasonings salt and pepper will be just fine too yeah and any other seasoning that you may have at home will work i guess yeah i mean we're gonna put some garlic cloves in there and these are very flavorful so it's it's gonna work out just fine and the onion should help too all right so we're gonna chop some of these veggies up real quick here and we got the bell pepper like baby carrots, mushrooms, onion, garlic, and then the seasoning. Okay? All right, let's get chopping. Ooh. I mean, I am probably gonna cry, I'm not gonna So we have half an onion chopped, then we're gonna take some of the mushrooms. Um, slice them in half usually. Unless it's a really big one, then maybe into three. Yes, just like just in half. My mom says that if you put an onion in cold water, I think it's like ice water or something, um, just before like you chop it, it's supposed to help you not cry. We, for some reason, have never really tried it. I have not yet tried it. and I think I we will like... try it one day and see if it actually works. But if you want to give it a shot and see if maybe that makes you not cry when cutting an onion, Maybe that'll work. Next, we're gonna do the pepper. Next, we're gonna take the carrots. I like to cut them in half. I mean, they kind of cook a little bit faster, but you can put them in whole too. So we're gonna use the our place pan for the veggies. And if you have this pan or you're considering getting this pan, the one thing that I learned is that a little bit of oil goes a long way. So whatever you normally put in your pan when it comes to oil, definitely do less for the R Place pan because it really does take in a lot of oil. Season it to taste, depending on how many potatoes you're making. So some salt. And like how salty you like your food or season in general. Yeah, some pepper, some basil, and some oregano. You just mix it all together. What it looks like. Just give it a good mix. Get all that seasoning on every potato. Put your pan with some aluminum foil. And then just spread out the potatoes on the pan. A little tip that we just realized that we didn't do. Um, 
before putting the potatoes in the oven if you actually like boil them for a little bit? For like 10 minutes or so, like 5-10 minutes, um, the baking process will be way shorter. Yeah, so these actually will have to be in the oven probably for like 40 minutes. We'll see. Um, but if you do if you do boil them first, then it'll cut back to like... It's like 10-15 minutes because all you're looking at that point is just to get the outside crispy. Yeah. So right now we have to cook them completely and then get them crispy. So about 40-ish or so minutes. So we forgot to do that. So don't, don't make that mistake. Anyway. After 40 minutes, the potatoes came out of the oven and this is exactly how we like them, like all roasted and nice. So we're happy it worked out. Here's the end result. We've got the veggies, the chicken, and then the potatoes. And we can't wait to dig in. Uh, so I ended up changing clothes because I thought we were done and then I realized all of a sudden that we didn't do an outro So it's still the same day. It's just a lot later in the day um, And that was Milo <laughs> Yup <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed that recipe. If you are gonna try it, let me know what you think um, Anything else? I mean the food was delicious. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, the food was really good I actually ended up making some chocolate covered strawberries so i'll be sharing those on my instagram and blog later on so if you want some treats after your lunch or dinner you have that anyway um if you like this video please give it a like a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you next time